So you feel like making underwater rocks, but you don't know how to do it. So first off, head over to Polyhaven and look up for rocks. Now go down a little bit. You will find one called Rocks 03. No, Rock 3. There you go, that one. That's one we're going to use. Download it, save it somewhere, and then we're heading off to Blender. So, bring out a cube, subdivide it, subdivide, subdivision, subdivision surface, four times, add a displacement modifier, add a texture, cloud, increase the size, so that it doesn't get, you know, too distorted. Then we're heading back to modifiers. Click the displacement as you wish, shades move it, and then go into edit mode and start changing the shape of the rock. Very simple, duplicate one in case you want to use another one. There you go, extrude with E. And it should give you, you know, through the approximate sizes and shapes, but I mean, this is a quick and easy and very dirty, let's say, way of doing underwater rocks. We will see the results. There you go, we have some sort of shape here. It's not the best, but you can still work on it. Um, I'd highly recommend, you know, just tweaking things, playing with it on your own, and you, you'll find something that suits your needs. You know, I mean, I I tend to then go ahead and sculpt. Don't forget to apply the modifiers, by the way. Then import the texture, shade editor, control. I did control T, which is a mistake. Control Shift T using the Node Wrangler add-on. In Blender, uh, I'm just hiding it. You know, a few files. There you go. Import the textures. Go into materials. Edit mode. Press U. And cube projection. So that's what I mean by quick and dirty. It's that it's not a really good UV mapping, but I mean, eh, it does the job. You know, if you want to use them in a scene in the background. Now that you can see, I have used them in my Unreal Engine projects. You know, small underwater scene that I'm still working on. And there you go. I mean, yeah.